I don't think FDR ever saw a dam that he uh, didn't think should be built. It just really seemed like a great idea coming out of the Great Depression. Like all constructed things, dams have a finite lifetime. And you know, a couple decades ago, it was radical in terms of thinking that you could take a dam out. It was unthinkable. You know, go back 50 years, it was legitimately crazy talk. You know, the conversation's changed. Taking a dam out and opening up a watershed, reconnecting it with the fish that were there for hundreds of thousands of years, I mean, it gives you, I mean, a hope. You can take half of a salmon fishery, eat it, and they'll keep replacing themselves. What kind of a species throws that away? We, uh, as a country right now, are infatuated with tearing things down. Some people seem to have forgotten that before the era of dam construction, the endless cycle of withering droughts and violent floods constantly plagued our watersheds. You're asking some nasty questions when you ask about a free-flowing Snake River. It'd be a lot of teardrops of joy to see that river running again. There's a great good here that belongs to the American people that's being stolen by a very small corrupt branch of the federal government. Yeah, I would advocate uh, sabotage, subversion, as a last resort when political means fail. Just because a dam has been sitting in a river for 200 years does not mean that it's going to stay there for the next 200.